What's up guys, back at it with another video. Um, so today we're gonna do the Pocky Challenge, the one chip challenge. I know I'm a little behind on the challenge, so that was a bit, I'm so 2020. Um, so the rules, um, the rules are simple. Eat the entire chip, wait as long as possible before eating and drinking anything. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have a um, timer, but I'm also gonna answer these 10 questions. If I, uh, if I can't take it and I have to give up, um, the safe word is uh, snuffleupagus. So here's the chip. Um, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, oh, oh. oh <coughs> like death in, a, death in a chip. Oh my God. If I die. Tell my mom I love her. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, the chip's actually nasty. It's... There's no taste. It's just... Question number. Oh, uh, question number one. What is your favorite superhero? Jesus, because that's what I need. Oh my. Whew. Um. Uh, DC is a uh, Batman. Um. So Batman, his parents were killed, uh, and uh, he actually was afraid of bats, but he took that fear of bats, and he mustered up the courage to fight uh, villains, and uh, oh my god. I need to muster up the courage to not pass out because it's really hot. Uh, uh, Marvel, um, Wolverine. Um, yeah, I just like Wolverine because as a kid, I just thought he was cool. Next question. What is your goal in the gym? <clears throat> Well, my goal right now is, is, is to live, cause yeah, this is hot. Oh, uh, so my goal in the gym was um to get 15% body fat. Um, that's still kind of my goal, but a lot of my goal now is um just to have fun, just to live for longevity, um, and to always mix it up. I think that um. You know, a lot of people have these routines, which is pretty cool. But um, I just go about how my body feels. Um, like uh, today, I did a uh, 225, warmed up. Then I went to uh, 245. I did a set of uh, 10. Then um, to uh, put another set on. It's, uh, 265, I did a set of 10. 285, I set of 10. And 305, I set of 10. Um, so that was kind of my workout. So, you know, it was a cool little workout. Uh, definitely different. Sometimes I'll do 225, um, a couple sets, 15 and 20. Um, so just, I like to mix it up. Um, Next question. Next question, number three. <coughs> How long have you been training? Uh, 
Well, I started training um, when I was 15. Um, my dad took me to the gym. Um, I mean, I've always been athletic, you know. I grew up, uh, play soccer, kid. Actually, I played flag football. Um, oh God, I feel it in my stomach now. Um, I played flag football. Then I played uh, soccer for a little bit as a kid. And then, um, what did I do? Oh, basketball. In middle school, like as a teenager, I loved, I loved basketball. Man, I love basketball. Um, I never played on my high school team, but I used to always play basketball for fun. Um, but um, uh, what was the question? Um, oh, how long I'm sure. Um, so I've actually I picked up a weight when I was around 15. So it's been um, you know, 15 years plus I've been training. Um, it's about 17 years. Um, the cool thing about me is though. I got to train with older older guys. Um, you know, the one thing I hate in the gym is see people training wrong. And I was given the privilege to train with older guys and what they were doing. So, um, you know, all in my late teens, early 20s, I spent a lot of that time training. I'd say when I was about 23, 24, that's when um, I really um, started training on my own. And um, I actually, um, at 28, it was 28, it was 28 or 29, I had a hip replacement. Um, basically, my uh, my my uh, hip joint was um, was supposed to be a ball, a round ball, but it was flat, so it was bone on bone. So I had a, um, a hip replacement. And um, two months before my hip replacement, it literally, it hurt the walk, like, um, and it was it was depressing because I worked at a gym, and um, I worked the front desk and as a um, a janitor, you know, or a custodial if you want to be. I was a, I was a janitor. Um, I worked um, doing that, and um, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was the most depressing time in my life. Um, I lived with my um, my ex, and um, you're gonna hate me. I forgot to press record. This one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, but this one has been recording the whole time. So you talk to this now. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're still recording. So, um, <laughs> by the way, two things. The heat is dying down, but my anger is increasing because my videographer forgot to hit play on the main camera that I've been talking to for I don't know how long. I'm dying. So he's dying down probably because I'm so angry, but that's beside the point. Uh, I forgot where I was. I forgot. I don't even want, guys, I don't even want to be here anymore. I'm just, I'm so sad. I'm, so, I'm sad, but um, the uh, training. Oh yeah, so I was working at the gym, and uh, like I was living with my fiance, and like literally two months before I had my hair replacement, like it hurt to walk. I couldn't work out. I legit. I'm. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I cried a few times. I cried, and my fiance had to, you know help me out and stuff like that so yeah so I've been training for that long but you know there's always bumps in the roads you know there's small injuries big injuries um stuff like that you know but um yeah okay um question number four okay question number four this is a long question great day who oh it's Coco. Huh? Let's see what Coco has to say. Hey, Onk. Are you still doing cardio? You're getting kind of chunky. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to call you. Uncle Chunk. I know what I'm in pain. I'm angry. And now you're just going to add salt to the wounds? 
I'm not even gonna answer that, Coco. How about you, I don't know. How about you do something? Just leave me alone. And stop texting me, by the way. Feelings when you text me. Next actual question. <clears throat> you can look at the main camera now. Uh, next the question five. I can look at the main camera on now because it's it's on, guys. It's finally on. We fixed the technical difficulties. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? <sighs> Hands down, no brainer. Japan. I love anime. Like I'm I'm a big nerd. Uh, I love museums. I love to learn. Um, I love cooking shows, nature documentaries. Um, and, it, and I love anime. I love ramen, pho. I want to try Wagyu beef. I want to try Kobe beef. Um, you know, I love cars and the big car scene there. So, uh, I'm getting the dreaded, uh, heat hiccups. A lot of people, give me a sec. <coughs> okay, back. Um, Japan. Um, I would probably, Tokyo is probably too, too fast for, I'm a country boy from, um, Guchun County. Shout out to the 804. Shout out to VA. Um, I think Tokyo would be a little too fast for me. I could probably adjust. Oh, I'm a cancer. Shout out to the cancers. I adapt very easy adaptability, but I just want something a little bit slower, I think. Um, so I'll probably live in the outskirts, maybe commute to Tokyo. Um, cause of course Tokyo is where it's all at. That's where the big jobs are and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I could like when I visit Japan, I want to do a two week trip. I want to stay in Tokyo. Then I want to go to the outskirts, so to um, traditional Japan, as they call it. Um, so yeah, definitely Japan. I would, I would definitely love Japan. Um, question six: What is your favorite cartoon uh, growing up? My favorite cartoon. I have a lot, but my favorite cartoon was hands down um, X Men. Um, it, for those of you who saw the movies, they disappointed me. I watched the first one, and then after that, I didn't watch any. Um, like not even like back to the future or back to days past or whatever it is like they're all garbage they weren't like the cartoons um so I'd say X-Men um also Batman the animated series which um I have that whole series um hopefully one day I'll have a kid and my big plan is to um have a Batman weekend and basically we sit down and we watch the whole animated series together um Gargoyles were was amazing. Um, I used to love that. Um, what else was good? Um, Recess. Um, I want to get the Recess. That was a good cartoon. Um, the Magic School Bus. You know, classic. I kind of want to. I want to get that too. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have a lot of cartoons that I love growing up, but X Men was definitely hands down my favorite. Um, question seven. What is your favorite video game growing up? Um, hands down, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Hands down. Um, and now they just came out with a, well not just came out, but Breath of the Wild is out. Breath of the Wild is amazing. Like, I love, I love that game. Um, yeah, that probably, I mean, of course, growing up, Mario, I, I was a Nintendo person. So Mario was it, like Mario was was my game. But then as I started getting older and getting out of the, you know, the kiddie stage, um, you know, I started playing like Mortal Kombat. But then I was big into wrestling as well as a kid. So Nintendo 64, I don't care what you said, has the best wrestling games. Um, WCW Nitro, um, WCW versus NWO, uh, Warzone, of course, they got the, uh, I want to say, um, no, SmackDown wasn't on there. But, um, you know, WWE, no, well, it was WWF back then. No, no, it was actually WWE because it was WWE No Mercy. Um, like, me and my um, my homeboys, shout out to, to Brandon, um, my homeboy Brandon. Um, me, you know, him, a um, friend of mine, John, like, we used to always, like, stay up literally all night on the weekends and play wrestling games. Um, 
play wrestling games brothers the original smash brothers for those of you out there who played that um man i would have to say man to be honest like i tell people this all the time like the 90s was like the best generation like from music to video games to just growth um you know everything came out the 90s i would say um the biggest thing about the 2000s really is to be honest cell phones um cell phones really like just jumped and that technology has really came in handy um so i would say to answer the question my favorite video game growing up was was definitely zelda, was zelda. Um, number eight uh what does l3 alpha stand for so L3 Alpha is my brand, and um, I actually have um, the L's tattooed on me. So the L's are tattooed right here, and there's a, a heart in the middle of it right there. So, but what it, it stands for is um, it's love, lift, and live. Um, and what that means is you just have to love. Um, you know, I feel like love conquers all like be so many negative people out there um you just gotta don't feed into the negativity just love love the people who appreciate you but love the people who hate you as well um because maybe they hate you because they're jealous or maybe they hate you just to be honest maybe people hate me because i'm black but you know stooping to their level or showing that ne negativity that's not going to do anything great for me that's um i believe that if you start feeding into negativity, then negative things will happen to you. It creates a negative aura. And I definitely um, am a big believer in aura and energy and uh, karma. And that's why I stay so positive no matter what, because that good energy, that good karma is gonna come back to me. So that's what love means. Um, but also just love um, your significant other or, or love your animals or you know, just love the people just have undying love for those people who truly love you and you know i love my mom so much i do anything from my mom so stuff like that um lift of course is just uh you know lifting weights um you know that's pretty much self-explanatory live is just live just just live in the moment just just live towards your goals and your dreams just continue to live continue to find journeys and continue to um you know continue to experience things experience different food different places um because that's what you know you you're gonna die one day so while you're here you might as well live you might as well live the best you can so that's what live means um so that's what l3 um means um now the alpha is because everybody has um a beginning alpha is beginning it's um you know the greek uh word for beginning so everybody has a journey and uh, or the beginning of a journey every time you wake up or every time you go to the gym every time you go to work it's it's alpha it's the beginning of a journey so that's why alpha is there so it's l3 alpha um that's what it means um number nine what is your dream car and why um my dream car is the nissan gtr r34 r35 the 34 is sick um sick body style it's a bad boy i think it's quick um you know i was a big i was a big um like back in the, the need for speed underground days i was big into all the um you know the the flashy lights you know the neon lights and this and that and so at that time you know the gtr was like the car that I looked up to. It was um, definitely, I felt like the beast and the best. Um, I used to, before the GTR, I used to want a Lamborghini Diablo. Um, but honestly, I'll probably take the GTR with the Diablo. It's just um, something about that car. It's just something special about it. Um, but I would, I mean, I honestly would take either one. Um, and then, where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? Why? Um, what do you see yourself 10 years from now? 10 years from now, um, I see myself, I don't know, I definitely want to kid or two. Um, I definitely want to be st more stable, just more stable in life, whether it's more stable with, um, with a relationship, um, definitely in a house, um, not in an apartment. I'm tired of 
renting apartments and and um, you know renting something I'm not going to own. Um, and then plus, if I have a child, I need stability for them as well. Um, I definitely want my YouTube um, and my clothing line to have taken off. I don't want to be rich. I tell people all the time, I don't want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. I want to be able to, if emergency happens, I'll have money for it. If I want to travel, I'll have money for it. Um, and that, the reason I don't want to be rich as well is because I want to give back. I want to, I'm not going to, because I'm one of the people who I don't like to tell people what I want to do. I like to move in silence. But one of the things I want to do is um, give back to kids. You know, there's plenty of kids. I was grateful enough to have both my parents. Some kids don't. So I want to give back to kids um, in uh, urban areas or who needs help. Um, but one of the ways I want to do that as well is um, I feel like like working out is my life. So what I want to do is maybe set up some, some summer camps um, and do like weightlifting tutorials or just basic health tutorials and stuff like that. Um, and just let people know that, um, you know, fitness, because a lot of these kids, not only don't they have both of their parents in their lives, but also they don't know about health and fitness and stuff like that, or they don't know where to go or what to do. So teach them kids what to do and also teach them that, you know, a lot of these kids, you know, they're into drugs, they're into, um, you know, gangs and stuff like that. Instead of being into that, you could be into fitness. Fitness can be your vice. Um, you know, fitness can really honestly save people's lives. I um, mean, that's one thing I want to do is um, is give back to the community in that way. So, so yeah, I mean, that's where I see myself. I mean, I see myself there in a lot of other places as well. Uh, but that's generally how I, I want my life to look in 10 years. But, you know. You never know. You know. You don't know what your life is gonna look like the next day. So, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the ten questions. I appreciate those um, people who um, sent the questions in. Um, I appreciate the love and support that you guys give me so much. Um, so yeah, I'm done with the questions and the heat's gone. I don't even know how long it's been, but the first initial hit is pretty bad. But once you get through that, it's it's not too bad so i mean i don't even need anything to drink really but appreciate you guys i love you guys um another fire video literally was a fire video i almost literally caught on fire like legit like i thought i was gonna pass out a little bit for a second but um, another fire video um continue to show me love i'll continue to show you guys love and i appreciate you uh one love